This year's Computex coverage is brought to you by MSI, Thermaltake, Corsair, and Be Quiet. So Corsair has just introduced their Corsair Custom Lab for users to actually customize their full setup. Now, this is the range that they have at the moment, but they are planning on expanding as more popularity grows on their website. The Custom Labs is on their website now, just launched two days ago. You can get different customization for your keyboards, your mice, even your scuff controllers, not to mention your different size mouse pads. So I'll show you guys two of the setups where they have some of these implemented into the design. So as you can see here, we've got this full setup here. It's got kind of a red and purple theme. Even the scuff controller, you can fully customize. We've also got the keycaps fully customized as well, and it's all matching it. Corsair has found that the younger generations, they seem to like more uh, colors, so they wanted to offer that. But for those of you who like the black and white, there's also gonna be options for customization for that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we have brand new fans from Corsair. So here we have the RS series. We got the RS Black, we've got the RS White, we've also got the RS ARGB. With these, they're more, I wouldn't say budget oriented, but they are aimed at saving a little bit of money while providing a little bit more performance. Now, we also have the RX Max, which is essentially the same as the RS series, but these are 30 millimeters thick, so you're actually gonna get more airflow out of these if you are needing more airflow for your build. So Corsair has brand new RGB fans now. They are called the LX RGB. Now, these actually have better performance than the previous QX RGB fans, and that is because they've actually thinned out the ring. The ring is only one-sided now, so you won't have RGB on the back, but what they have done is they have actually developed this airflow design, which is also on the RS series, and the airflow design actually helps for better airflow, and because the ring is so much thinner, the blades are actually made bigger, which means they can push more air through the fan. Now, we have the RS series, but we also have the RX series, and this is their best performance fans that they have on offer. So they still have that airflow design that they came up with to help guide the air, because without them, air kind of goes everywhere, but they also have the RX Max in 30 millimeters, so this is their benchmark for fans. They're actually competing with the top of the top in terms of performance. So if you guys are after some serious cooling, this is certainly a fan to look at. Now, one thing I will note is the RX Max, while not entirely compatible in terms of RGB with IQ Link, actually does have a built-in sensor, which is shown in the IQ Link system software. So we have some new lighting accessories from Corsair. These are their LED strips, and you can see it's really nicely diffused. Now, these are actually IQ Link compatible. They come with this controller, and this counts as one device, but this one controller can actually take up to five of these LED strips. Each LED strip has 40 LEDs in total, and so if we're connecting five of these to this controller, you can have plenty of LED lighting inside the case to highlight like all of your components. And this controller actually comes with a five volt adapter. So you can actually plug in any LED strip on the market that is ARGB if you already have some available. And fully controllable by IQ Link. So Corsair's got their new AIO coolers, which are actually more budget friendly. They utilize their RX fans at the set of the QX fans, so you're saving a bit of money there. But also they come in a 240 and 360 millimeter variant. Now the cool thing about these is they actually come with removable pump cap tops. So this is the standard one, but over here we actually have a few different options. So we've got two LCD ones. You could get the white or you could get like the smoked out gray or black. Um, you can also get one that is actually aimed at performance. So by installing this, you actually get active cooling straight to the motherboard VRMs and also the NVMe drives as well as the RAM. And of course, there's also a bling option if RGB is your style. And as you can see up here, this is the 360 millimeter radiator version. And you can see the caps in full display right here. Now these AIO coolers are actually aimed at outperforming the previous generations. So they've called them the Titan. And uh, if the naming is anything to go by, I think we're gonna see some fantastic performance out of these. Yes, I said fantastic again. <laughs> 
Yeah. Now, Corsair are releasing their brand new SF series of power supplies. As you can see, really small form function, perfect for ITX builds. Uh, the brilliant feature about these is Corsair has actually shrunk the connectors on here to allow them to fit more there. So users have more compatibility to add more cables just in case there's extra things in your system that you need to power. This, my friends, is a souped up 1000D. They're calling it the 9000D and it has a lot of similar features to the 1000D. However, there is a lot that has been improved on with this case. So what do we have here? It comes in black and white for starters. The 1000D, you could only get it in black. Now the cooling was very important for this case. So what they've done here is they've created bigger perforations in the panels. So at the front and the top, the, that increases the airflow, allows more air in, and the front of the case doesn't have glass anymore like the 1000D. It's actually got the perforations, so plenty of airflow right there. Now they've actually got something called the Corsair InfiniRail system. So that can actually move to accommodate different size fans. So you can have your 120s, your 140s, or even your 200s in there. So that's really cool, different airflow options for the user. Personally, I'm gonna try and fit as many fans in there as I possibly can, and I love the setup that they got going at the moment. Now, the way these rails are removed is there's just two screws on the front there, and then we have access to slide it all out. This case also has full BTF support for the backwards connection motherboard. So they've been working really closely with companies like Asus, MSI, and Gigabyte to make this happen. The case also comes with an integrated GPU support bracket. Now, we can't show you this because this has a custom acrylic panel in here, but usually there'll be one that is screwed into the back of the case just to help hold up those heavy 4000 series cards. At the rear of the case, it actually has a barn hinge door design, which we thought was pretty cool. Uh, Tristan had a bit of a giggle at it as well. <laughs> but we thought that was a pretty unique feature. Now, with a case like this, having like 32 fans, it is important that if you're using the IQ Link system, you need to have enough controllers to control all of this. Now, with the IQ Link system hub, they've actually updated the firmware on them. So it can now support 12 individual hardware pieces per channel for a total of 24 devices. So that's much needed for such a big case like this. Now the front IO is fully RGB and all of the IO cables they come out into one single USB 3.2 header, which is absolutely fantastic. It saves in a lot of cable management. At the backside as well, if you wanted to try something a little different than this layout, there is actually support for a 360 millimeter radiator. Of course, you would lose the back fans on the top mount, but you could still possibly run the front fans and have the rear op in operation as well. Now get this guys, the 1000D was $500 plus. This case is going to be retailing for $499 US dollars. Now I did also want to show you guys that each panel is actually magnetic. So it closes like that and it stays locked. The magnets are strong enough to hold it as well. And the back panel is not tempered glass anymore. It is actually steel just to help with some rigidity and to hide the cables much better. I also did want to make note that you could still have dual systems in here. So we've got a full ATX system inside. Then on top of the power supply shroud, we actually do have a water-cooled ITX system. Now this is the brand new 3500X case, comes in black and white. It is fully BTF compatible as well. So just like the 9000D, they've been working closely with the motherboard manufacturers to make sure this case is compatible with their backwards power connected motherboards. Now you can actually fit a 360 millimeter radiator at the side here and also a 360 millimeter radiator at the top. Or if you like 140 millimeter fans, you can do a 280 and a 280. And taking a look here, of course, it has full support for your 4000 series GPUs. And down the bottom here, they've actually cut the power supply shroud short. So it actually gives us a bit more room to mount any reservoirs if we want to mount that down there, or you can install a fan. Now, this is what they consider their entry level case. So the fanless version is going to retail for $90. Uh, you can also get an ARGB version, which is going to be $110, or you can get the Link version. So that comes with IQ Link fans for $150. So they've used as much steel as possible. They've actually enlarged all of the cutouts as well. So that gives more airflow. And they plan on shipping this case out in mid-July. 